Richardson Hitchings versus Montana Love. Yeah. We'll be kind of waiting for this one. Yeah, that's true. What you think? I think it's going to be a uh, high intensity type of fight. Um, I feel like Montana Love going to go after uh, Richard Hitchens. The thing is, he has to he has to be defensive while he's trying to walk him down. The reason I'm using those words is because Hitchens is finding who, finding out who he is in the ring, and he knows his height is an advantage. He knows his boxing ability is an advantage, and he knows his skill set is, is an advantage. So he's going to definitely use that. He's he's beginning to believe in, in himself, you know, and understanding that he's just not an average fighter. Um, Montana Love, if you ask me, he should go back to his old coach. Um, I think, no disrespect to who's coaching him now, but I've been seeing him just looking for power shots. But Montana Love is a skillful fighter. If he can get back to the skills, I think he could cause trouble for uh, for Richard Hitchison. But if he don't get back to his old coach and find his rhythm and get back to boxing and being sharp, I think he's going to be somewhat after five rounds, he's going to be a sitting duck for uh, Richard Hitchison. Richard Hitchison know he know he a sniper and he know he got a, a good punch on him. So he can, he can, I mean, it could be an easy fight or it could be a rough fight. It just depends on what Montana Love willing to go through. You know what I mean? I'm really, really big on Africa. Yeah. Is this the the win that he needs to take him take him to the elite level 140? And is this the win that Montana Elite needs to still be a name at the division and not be a gatekeeper? This is the win for Montana for him to get his name back because that last showing wasn't too good. I mean, before that fight ended the way it did, he wasn't looking too good. For Africa, this is just a stepping stone. Not a stepping stone in, in, in the sense where Montana Love can't fight and he's just a, a gatekeeper and he's just somebody rough. No, but this this guy, if you look at it, Montana Love could be trouble. But then if he come in there clouded, not really focused, it could be very easy for uh, Richard Hitchens. People would be mad because it won't look like the fight it could be. You know what I mean? I don't think Montana Love is focused enough to think on the level of a Richard Hitchens. You got to really be on your game when you fight a guy like him. You know what I mean? You got to really be on your shit. And the way he's been getting clouded and being, and being there getting frustrated, that's not what you want to do against a Richard Hitchison. Who wins that fight? I got uh, Richard Hitchison by decision. Great fight, though. Competitive? Competitive in the first four rounds. After that, you'll start to see a separation.